everybody. It's Sean Hack. I am back with another ration review. Today, I will be reviewing this Arctic Field Ration by Minotaur Trading Company. It is uh, the 2021 Elk Casserole. I'm excited to, I'm excited to try this out today because um, Bob, who runs this, this company, Minotaur, this, I got this on the on the night when he shut down the production of all of these because they were too expensive to produce. So I'm lucky to have my last Arctic field ration that I purchased from their website. So, and my buddy, Mike Kreischer, he said that this was a really good menu to try and um, it has elk in it. I've never had elk before. So um, let's get this ready. All right. So, first off, we have the main elk casserole. Now, this comes in the new pouches that they had. This is like a, a, di a different pouch compared to what they had before, which I don't have an example right now. But, so this is a nice, nice pouch that has the ingredients listed. You can see that. All right, put this off the side. We have cream cheese icing. Cornbread stuffing. An all day snack trail mix. Cherry drink mix. This is my all time favorite drink mix from Minotaur. This is just like true goodness. We have cinnamon, cinnamon swirl cheesecake. An accessory pack with sugar, creamer, coffee, a spork, that's something different, um, a moist towelette, and two Jolly Ranchers. Now, I personally like the new two Jolly Ranchers because uh, they used to, his uh, Bob's old accessory packs had Smarties, which I'm not a big fan of Smarties, but I love myself some Jolly Ranchers. Last but not least, we have some Sky Flake crackers. These things are awesome. I also forgot to mention that I got the shirt from Bob. This is Minotaur Trading Company. So, of course, it fits out with the video. All right, let's get this figured out onto a trip. All right, so I got my, I have my mains, my sides, um, Getting all in my dessert, actually getting all uh, reconstituted with water. So they're sitting their their time frame's about up now. But I figured while they're finishing up, uh, I go over our drinks. So I have my cherry drink mix in this tractor mug with my name on it. This mug is really cool and special because I got this for Christmas from my best friend's my best friend's grandma. So. This is an awesome mug, and it's got my favorite drink in it. So, I mean, where can you go wrong with that? I'm gonna keep the lid on there, so just in case there's a spill, I don't gotta deal with that. I thought I thought about making my coffee before, but I remember it's a staple in all my videos to go through the coffee and what it smells like and what it tastes like. So, today we have Cafe Bustavo. A lot of people say they like this. I haven't had this personally, but it's just espresso caf, caf, or espresso instant coffee. So. Well, probably can't see it very well. All right, that's what it looks like. Smells like coffee, doesn't smell really too strong. Sugar. And non-dairy creamer. Oh man, I may have messed on my table. Oh well. I think ever since I had the uh, 
the, I think it was the meal cold weather. I had warm coffee for the first time from a MRE. I gotta say, I've been doing it ever since. So this is what it looks like. You can see it. Looks like coffee. Let's taste it. Hmm. I'm not a big fan. Um, hmm. It is what it is. I mean, it's coffee. I guess it'll pair well with something here. Let's clear this off. So I was reading the instructions on this elk and it says season the spice. So, or season the taste. So I have this minotaur spice. This stuff is awesome. Haven't really had it on anything. Um, haven't really had it on anything, but I just kind of like tasted it and it tastes really good. So they say eat it on ramen or whatever it is. All right, so I'm gonna hope this goes well on the tray. I'm not, not really sure if it will or not. Uh, let's start out with the cornbread stuffing. Oh, wow, that smells good. Mmm. Got a trail mix. We get cashews, pecan, or cashews, peanuts, almonds, raisins, and MMs. All right. Probably should have done it the other way around. Don't tell anybody. is the cinnamon cheesecake uh clearly not in the not in the shape of a cheesecake mm. tastes very good I don't think I got 100% out. I don't think I got 100% of it uh, reconstituted. That's all right. All right. <clears throat> Time for the main course. Hopefully there's not a super big spillover. But let me mix this up. I guess that's got to reconstitute a little more. It's been 15 minutes, so I don't know. In hot water. Well, let's give me fresh taste. This is some cornbread stuffing. Mm. Very full of flavor. So I came to use icing, I'm not really sure if it's supposed to go. The mac crackers are with cheesecake where you would find uh, cream cheese icing. So I'm gonna try a little bit of both. Tastes all right. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Meant for that. I can definitely say it was definitely meant for that. Pairs with that really nicely. 
All right, I think I'm just gonna send it and hopefully it doesn't go all over my tray. This is getting close. Holy cow. Okay, well, if you can see, I mean, it is literally maxing over the sides. Like, there's no tomorrow. And just like that, it's going into my cheesecake. Excellent. Oh, shoot. Well, <laughs> bummer. Dude, oh my gosh. All right, whatever. Well, you want some, you lose some. Um, as for this, this tastes pretty good. Um, I don't think the noodles have reconstituted, or, or constituted 100% for whatever reason. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, because uh, I've had sat and I've had it like hot water the whole time, so. Um, the cornbread stuffing, plenty of flavor. I mean, I can almost get like no corn, so it's basically like homemade stuffing in my opinion. Crackers with cream cheese, not my go-to. Throw mix. It's an all-day stack. So, it is what it is. Um, I have to say, this tastes really good. Now, with the water and flavoring, um, that's not supposed to be there, it's mildly all right. I just get a hint of it. I get more of the cinnamon and sugar more than anything else. Well, I guess this will conclude my review. I will have a nice messy lunch. Hopefully not to embarrass myself too much. But make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And we are on our way to 50 subscribers, which means um, we'll get to give away the Lithuanian camp stove. I am really excited to, for one, fit, reach 50 subscribers. I think, I think we're at 45 now. I mean, we're five away. We need to share, like, comment, and subscribe for anyone else who's new here. Um, and you could possibly win a Lithuanian metal camping folding stove. So, this will conclude my video. As you can see, it's kind of messy. It is what it is. Um, at least it didn't get my stuffing. So, anyway, this will conclude my video. I hope you guys have an awesome and great week. And see ya.